G'day everyone, the Global Surveyor. This is the Leica SNLL321 laser plummet, which is really cool because you don't have to worry about optical plums and you put the light on here and you can see the little red laser. Accurate to half a millimetre, millimetre as quoted in the specs. It's a really great unit. Um, but there's only one issue I have, and I really do like Leica equipment. I'll show you what it is. You can probably see it's raining, everything's wet. So what happens? This little area here fills up with water and it becomes like a little um, bucket, basically. The water has nowhere to escape, so if there's anyone from Leica Geosystems Hexagon that is watching, I really love this gear, don't get me wrong, but I think one improvement, please, could we make like a little drain or something here that makes the water escape? Um, because as you can see, if I unscrew this, tip it out, all the water's coming out, which is not really good for electronic gear. Another thing about this plummet, which is pretty cool, is the fact that the battery is a Leica battery. It's not, not those AA batteries that you buy and they only last a certain length of time and also you've got to, um, I won't pull the battery out because it's wet, but it's a standard Leica battery. Actually, I could show you here in my car what the battery looks like for those who may be interested. Here's, here's another one here. So it's a standard Leica battery GB212 and it slots in there nicely, which is much better because you don't have to worry about AA batteries corroding and uh, then if they corrode, it might corrode the inside of the uh, unit and then the whole thing stuffed. So that's a really good improvement. The other thing about it is, take the prism off, prism down somewhere. You can unscrew this. Now if you're working on a construction site and you wanted to uh, use a laser plummet in an inverted sense, yes that can be done. Simply just do that and you can see laser plummet on hand. So um, the length of the laser plummet would probably maybe go one to two meters probably with accuracy or more than one meter but obviously you know 1.8 to two meters depending on where it is I'm not really sure I haven't tested that um, but it does work in an inverted sense so I had a subscriber to the channel ask me does a laser plummet come out of the top? Well, no, it doesn't come out of the top. To get it, you have to actually invert the unit. So, yeah, so that's a Leica SNL, SNLL321. Make sure that if you take it off, you lock that because you're going to lift the tripod up and the whole thing will fall off. We don't want that happening. But it is a good unit and very accurate and a lot faster to set up your tripod and tri -brack, um, without having to use an optical plummet. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day and please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Cheers.